Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Empire Total War campaign, We're playing as the Netherlands. And I'm just going to clear out this area now of trade, trade ships. Right, let's move them into the Indian theatre, we don't need to keep them here, there is no trade at the moment. There's no one, there's only two countries left, Persia and the Mughal Empire, and that's it. Okay, and we'll go back to India, and you can see what's going on. Um, in the previous episode, we managed to destroy almost all of the Mughal territories. I think they ended up with like maybe five territories left. One, two, three, four, five. And it was really weird. They then decided they wanted to have peace with us, which is very strange. Very, very strange, considering we just almost completely wiped them out. Took more than half of their territory. And then they decide to cave into us and give us a chance to replenish, which we did, of course, and to recruit, which we also did. Some of these lancers, these are really good, actually. These um, Indian lancers are fantastic. Um, and of course, we're only getting stronger, and they're only getting weaker. Weaker. So it was a very foolish thing for them to do to give us a chance to, to build up our troops. That's fine. We had actually taken a lot of losses, of course, in the process of taking out their guys. And um, they just allowed us to completely replenish everything, basically. So all our guys are up to strength again. You'll probably see, although they've got a mass of troops, most of them have got broken flags, and I think probably they're going to be suffering attrition. I'm guessing, it is only a guess, is their capital? War weariness, are they going to be bankrupt soon? I do hope so. Exempt from tax. This is their this is their capital, isn't it? Gosh, nineteen thousand. Perhaps they won't go bankrupt. Um, they definitely suffer from war weariness, but it's the total these guys. We might be able to get ourselves a little revolt going or something. Anyway, don't need to do very much here at the moment. Uh, we had to give them the Wind Windward Islands, I think, over here, in order to get peace over here but um, we're in a fine position to actually take it back they can only ever recruit rubbish here I think it's Bowman I think is it yeah Bowman and Levy so we can just bring this army over which is here and we'll take it at our leisure uh, I think we've moved all the armies that were down here they're on their way to India we've taken out the Plains Nations with a, an army of generals I think it was over here that was in the previous turn, so we'll delete all these arm this guy's disband them all once we've actually got this place under control. That actually is it's fifteen. We can probably get rid of a lot of these guys now actually. It's not really going down at all, is it to be honest? Fifteen, fifteen. Well, we'll disband the rest later. Um, I say things are pretty much stable here. We've got an army moving back. Uh, let's go back to India where all the fun is. I think there's not really anything else I want to do here. I think we just need to see whether the, the Indians take advantage and attack us, the Mughals rather, whether they attack us. I doubt that they will. Probably very, very passive at the moment. Um, Okay, I think we are done. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. I think I'd actually moved all my armies into decent positions. Saying that we could possibly move we could move these three up. We're going to do that. And can we go to fault? Five thousand. Why not? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely, I think. We don't want to. Don't want to be too passive. Um, what we're looking to do is to move right to the border. To move up to 
here we obviously can't afford to go completely crazy and go right into their territory. Is it still under control? It is not actually, so we need to go in there. Okay, perhaps we'll say like 5,000. We're getting like 85,000 a turn, something like that. Um, okay, I think we're done. All the rest have moved as far as they could. Pretty certain. Just need to end the turn and then see what the enemy does. Okay, just auto resolve this. This was a stray army that the Persians had. And again, I think we can auto resolve this. If you see the. Let's just see what happens with the auto resolve. Got plenty of time to re repair this armor. That's why I'm doing it. I know we'll take a lot of losses. Oh, actually, that's not that bad. We've had much worse than that with auto resolve. Okay, that's fine. Then we've got all the time in the world to just replace um, guys on this northern army group that's heading through northern Persia. There's another army group that's heading through southern Persia as well. So we'll. Um, We'll push on, see if we can get to the border with the Mughals, destroy the Persians, and then take our time by destroying the last few remnants of the Mughal Empire. Okay, come on. There's only two there's only two sections now, there's the Persians and the Mughals they need to have their turns. There we go. Machine rifling. Missionary in England, is that of any, any use? Let's have a look. Boom. England's 98, mine's only 53. Right, let's have a look at all this. College of New Jersey, let's get rid of that. Newtown, boom, that. We do not need money, all we've got to worry about now is public order. So I'm just building coaching inns all the time. Wherever they are, there we go. And here, coaching in, coaching in there. Somebody's died, I think. General, where's that? Okay, which one is it that's died? So we need a general here. Boom. What is he? Is he old? That's not good. I'll just give me a young general. That's all I ask for. I mean, then we can always get um, these are from the auto resolves. Oh, that's not good. Right, Newport emerges. Fishing ports. We can't really do any trade at all, so it's really a question of just building fishing ports. Of course, all this is building up to more and more cash. That's why I upgraded the um, that building. Uh, yeah, the trade ports are just not worth doing at the moment. It's only really fishing ports. Farmland we could do. Um, fleet arrives. Okay. So this is all the... I think all their stuff is around here, to be honest. So we're just going to stick all this, this rubbish, rubbishy stuff around here. Plenty of ships to blockade things. We're not going to spend a lot of time at peace with the Mughals. In fact, it may end this turn if, if I feel we're in a good position to attack them again. Um, what we're going to try and do is get hold of military access so we can move over their territory. This is all the stuff that's coming in from over here, from the Indian Spice area. Ah, now we've got this stuff over here. Got an army here, so we're going to put that in. Where should we put that? Put it in here. We could do. Certainly speed things up if we did. Has he got? Can't actually see if he's got a ship in there. He doesn't actually. So that's. Um, I think we've got some armies on here, haven't we? Somewhere. Let's have a look. Got two armies. So let's bring them up into here. And we'll do the same. These guys here, these are going to come over to uh, here. Uh, 
these are just all trade fleets to be honest but um, we could disband them but we can use them to auto resolve and get rid of some of their guys could be amusing using the auto resolve trap advantage for a change they've all done good service they've all um, produced lots and lots of trade for us of course I'm going to get 14 into these, can I? Okay, let's go there. Okie doke. Okay, so we've got a couple of auto-resolvable fleets there that could do us a bit of... A bit of um, these fleets actually seem to be locked in place. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't really matter, because um, the guys have to come past us. And the final fleet, I think, is going to arrive up to here. Let's just go, let's get hold of that, uh, let's get one to drop off its troops first, I don't want to crash the system or something, good, we can move forward, let's do, uh, here, boom, you're dead, Victory! okay, let's replenish, let's Got to Baluchistan, see what he's got in here, not much. And leave this army here can land. Let's go out to here. Here, Let's land. This is interesting, got North American Indians actually here. And he's got a few guys there, so we're going to put our guys together. And what should we do? What should we do with this fleet? Should we just sit there? Let's just sit in his port. Okay, now we can push on. Should be straightforward. Uh, besiege. Well, that's that's probably the most mortars I've ever seen on any in any particular battle. Um, okay. And I'm going to push them down here. Let's repair that. Let's do that to the army. This army needs to replenish as well. Which are captured. England. Lots of recruitment. And lots and lots of uh, building, of course. Um, this army here is going to get to a port as soon as it can and we'll build a ship to pick it up uh, just literally to take it to a more convenient place where it can fight what are we doing down here? Do we, have a, do we have a fleet down here? I think we did yeah that's fine we don't need to do very much more there I think we've got an army here that's guarding the whole of the uh, maritime coast of Europe um, Blockade in the Mediterranean, not so much to stop people get out now because it's all our territory, but to stop ships going in and causing us problems. Um, this army will, this army that's in Azerbaijan, I lied, Georgia, uh, it's going to head to here, get on board the ship, and then held on its way. Uh, so, a bit of random upgrading. Okay, let's just, I think we just auto resolve through this one. Um, can get rid of that, that will help public order here. It's at naught at the moment. If we do that, can we move out? No, we cannot. So we need to we need to store the northern um, armies and let them replenish. It's really just got rubbish really to, to stop us. There's like a couple of units there. I think here it looked pretty tough, but we can just auto resolve, I think got no chance whatsoever. This would be horrendous. We'd take so many losses with that. So we are going to auto resolve. 1300, they lost 3000. Don't think we lost any units. Nope. Oh, this guy ran off, which is a bit of a pain actually. Can we get after him? Let's go after him. Send an army to the north. Can't quite reach him. Or can we? Or can we? Boom, they're dead. Yeah. Okay. okay, so this guy can come back. Bath. Okay, fair enough. Um, 
So we may be, we'll put this army into the northern group because this one is going to take ages and probably go by sea. Um, this guy will replenish. This guy will replenish. And this guy will move in. Keeps them sweet. Replenish. Now have we got any more madrasas and stuff? The way I can check this is to um, we'll look at the research side of things. Okay, so everything's replenishing here. We've got three armies in the south, three armies in the north, and that should be enough to push our way through um, to take out the remaining got two armies here as well to join in actually that are causing them problems. Uh, if we do that, gosh, look at that, 19. Might as well leave it on, take the money. If there is a revolt, there's a revolt. Right, let's have a look at research. Uh, let's just go through this. Is there stuff we can still research that I'm not researching? Not here, is there? And not here, there's not anything we can do because we need classical economics. And we're still researching these things, so it's really just to destroy any of these weird ones over here, for instance. Let's go there and get rid of that. Kerman Shah Tehran we'll get rid of. It's obviously what's causing some of the problems. Yeah, Tehran is definitely one of those ones that's this one here. Uh, we'll leave the spy here to keep an eye on this northern road. These guys should be back up to strength within a turn or so. We can probably then um, move on. Certainly hope so. Can't see that the Persians are going to provide much in the way of problems for us. We've got like one ship there. We've got two fleets, I think. Damn. <laughs> um, we'll go there. Okay, so let's look at what how we're going to move, how we're going to do this, how we're going to handle it. Let's go, let's go to North America first, to sort that out. Because I think probably we can we can make a European building here. Uh, can we move all the army out? Let's have a look. Yep, that's fine. We'll just disband all of this army. Expand the lot. Okay, still under. We'll take it out of um, taxation as well. I don't want to have to go back and try and take that back. It would be a pain if we had to do that. Heading for the Great Lakes. Here yeah, for a ship. This ship here that's going to pick them up. It's going to take forever to get there, of course. Did have some troops at Boston, which we'll keep there. We'll just keep them there for the moment. So, so I think it's maybe like eight or nine units here again he hasn't even made any units yet here perhaps he's just realizing that we are going to take it out okay still have peace what i'm going to try and do is be incredibly cheeky and we're going to try and get we're going to try and get military access uh, if we demand it for five turns that'd be plenty that's the minimum we'll offer it indefinite Technology. Okay, gosh, they've got much better technology than us. That's surprising. Uh, payments. Should we give them some payments? Of course, they're not going to be able to use this money. That's the whole point of doing this. Well, they will be able to. Think about it. Right, so they're not going to accept that, so we're just going to go ahead and kill them. Okay, well, that means that we probably will push on up to here. Let's have a look. Let's go to the border here so we can take out. Can't reach it in this turn because we can't land in the port and take him out, which is a pain. Let's go to here. Okay, this is all going okay. Need to move a guy into that 
particular area. Let's move the heavy artillery up. Probably can't afford to move this army for a while, but it's a bit of a waste, to be honest. Seven, minus seven, good lord. Uh, can we, let's improve that. Let's move those two to there. See, we have got rather a lot of good troops here. I don't really want to keep um, such good troops in such a poor place. Not a poor place, but in a um, garrison capacity. Okay, he's in a fort. So we can put some of the relatively crap artillery in into here. Still minus five, gonna have to put a, probably a whole stack of them probably. These cavalry are not, not fantastic. Still two. Um, so we strip them of cavalry. We'll put some light infantry in as well. Should be enough. Ah, that should be. No, they're still not sweet. Okay, one more. One more should do it. There we go. Okay, let's move up to there. I don't want them garrisoning all their whole life. That's just a bit foolish. Do that. And look at our money. So, bang, we're just going to stick them in a fort. Let's keep an eye on these guys. He's sitting on the bridge there, which is interesting. It's an interesting thing for him to do. Uh, let's get all my armies up to this bridgehead. Um, I don't really want to attack across a bridge. But him having the bridge means he can then attack us, of course. Right, I'm going to go up to here. This is where all my where the major stuff is going to go on. Need to put some more armies over this way, I think. The two armies this way. Ah, these guys over here. Okay, we are going to continue to pump troops out, of course. Because, just because we have so much money, really. Just, uh, there's no point in not. Only this one will bring out some other... Some of these guys out uh, here will do some artillery, I think. Oh, we're doing some already. Okay, good. About some infantry. Uh, not really worth doing anything there. Let's get all these guys up to this bridgehead, ready to move in the next turn, I hope. Should have some artillery here. Good, 24 pounders. Uh, just on the objectives, I'll just show the objectives. We're actually, we've won, basically. We've got everything we need. We're just heading for um, world domination by 1750. We've got eight more turns, so pretty much the game's over, really, I think. I don't think it's very... There'll be some interesting battles, of course. Uh, always are against the, the Mughals. Um, what are we recruiting here? Artillery. Okay, I think we're kind of done, I think. What's the army here? Got a very good general. Franken. It's fantastic. Is that ten stars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's um Is it really just just we gotta wait for them to they're actually separating out their troops at the moment, so that is good. They're not concentrating them anywhere. Um and moving about. Let's move the spy to here. Move the spy to here. Got pretty good intelligence on all their, their guys at the moment, I think. Don't know why I did that really. Um, okay, so probably one more turn and then we'll go for it. I think. We're getting we're still quite a long way away from the Afghan Mughal border. Um, he's got only two territories left, Kabul and Sahadan in Baluchistan. 
So movement like it's going to be two turns to hit here. And then we've got to travel across the desert to get there, of course. We're going to get a revolt in this area, without doubt. I think even though we're rebuilding all this stuff, uh, we're destroying the Tyrell University, which is causing a lot of um, disorder. And I think we just need to end our turn. I'm getting a bit over-eager here, trying to end the, end the game a bit early. Um, or wishing it was over earlier. It's not It's not going to be over for three or four turns at least, maybe four turns. It's um, not as straightforward as I thought perhaps it was going to be the campaign. Certainly got enough troops to do it, but let's... Um, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to do. Um, I think we are building a ship here, aren't we? He's coming down to the port. Okay, let's go back and in the turn. And then we'll see what, what happens. See what the Mughals do. The Persians are a spent force now. Oh yeah, go ahead and raid. as much as they could do. It's really just whether the Mughals decide to declare war on us. Try and preempt their ending. Doesn't look as if the Persians have much more than that. A bit of raiding. And I don't, the Mughals did anything. They didn't attack us or anything. Workers in strike on Persia. That's interesting. Loads of stuff in India. Loads and loads, of course. Got a seaport. We've got that. Got their fleet arise. What's that? Yet another fleet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just have so many ships. Let's just put them up here. Construction report. There we go. Loads of stuff. Port merges. Let's make that a fishing port. And again, a fishing port. Do I have, has this, well, no, no, I was to say trade, but we don't need trade. I was wondering whether it had a trade port. It's gained local knowledge. Three bottle man. No sense of shame. New town. Uh, where is it? There we go. Um, let's do a craft workshop actually. Can do that. Boom. I was only going to build happiness centers, wasn't it? But I would have thought I could. I've got one territory I think that isn't in payment. I think that's in. It's the old territory that used to be owned by the. Cherokees. Can we put it in payment? And we can. I think you'll find that's everything now. Oh no, not these guys as well. Maybe we can, maybe we can put them into payment. Oh no, it's a little bit iffy. We'll leave that. What's happening down here? Nothing. Hasn't recruited a single unit yet. And I haven't seen any ships turn up. Not that it means they won't do. They might turn up at some stage. Coming to attack us. I don't think they've actually broken out from these ports, to be honest. I think they're having real trouble breaking out from their own ports. Okay, I think we're going to go for it this turn. Uh, start in Persia. Because we know that's very straightforward. Uh, what has he got here? Got this stack here. And those. Almost up to strength. We can get to here. This army can get to here. So we might be able to take that out this turn. Not quiet. I wonder if we can do it with this. It's not cheating, but we can maybe cheat the attack. No, we can't. Okay, fair enough. Right, push on. He's got a stack there, but um, great in numbers, but not really too much to trouble us. That's, this is one. This is the first army that went out from Amsterdam like 46 years ago. It's done well, hasn't it? It's done very well. Got lots of experience. Still replenishing. Let's go to the northern or the central front. Took this out. Is this now? Wow. That's because we've done away with a lot of their stuff that was causing us problems. Right, let's head down here. 
Yeah, head down here. The only trouble now is there's not anything in the way of roads. So it just takes forever to get across um, these desert regions in Central. This is now airport, isn't it, I think? Yeah. The so Navy can come out. Uh, or do we want to... Do we want to move guys around by sea? I think we do. I think we do. That'll be much quicker. That'll be much quicker. Yep, in fact he's going back. This, it's still going to be two turns to actually get out, but anyway. That's completely intact. Completely. Okay, that's fine. So we can get three armies. Because I think these two armies here will be enough, to be honest be candid, I don't think that we're going to have much problem here. Push on. Let's go to here. That's actually under control. It's exempted, but it's fine. We're going to build that. We're going to build that. Let's push this guy out towards uh, Kabul. There's just nothing coming down the road at all. Boom. Uh, let's just get rid of these guys. Slight risk of using. I think we might have lost a couple of units there. Oh dear, what a shame. Never mind. I did have an army. I should say I had an army down south, down south to destroy these guys. Uh, let's do that. 322 for 95. That's not good. But it doesn't matter. Because now we can... Can I get all these and take it off? Come on. Oh god, I've got to do this. Sorry about this. I used to be able to grab all of them. I've said this repeatedly, I think, throughout this episode. Throughout this campaign. I used to be able to get the hold of the whole thing, select everything, take all of the replenishment off, and then put it all back on again. Because these obviously have suffered a, a second lot of um, damage. So I want to make sure that they're fully replenished. They don't replenish up to the, the first lot of damage and then leave the second lot of damage uh, out of step, not being repaired. Sorry about this. We haven't actually fought a battle in this one. We've, they've all been auto resolved, haven't they, so far? And this guy needs to do the same, I think. Wow. Do feel free to fast forward through this. It's um an interesting thing how sun suddenly the game can change and there's a problem. It is weird. Okay, we're nearly done. I've got to do the other army though, <laughs> unfortunately for you. Uh, this one also needs to, to get repaired up fully. Not just to the first lot of damage, but the second. So we've got three armies pushing across northern Persia, two in the central area, and three that are going to move down by sea. To act as re reinforcements when we um, attack the Indians, which I think we're going to do now. I think we're going to actually push ahead. Wow, that was tedious. Okay, nearly there. And finally, there we go. Right. Okay, can this be upgraded? Let's upgrade it to a theatre and that will make sure that this stays sweet. Yeah, these three armies are all going to go down by sea. It's only taking two moves to actually just even get out of it. Oh, there's an interesting little raiding party there, so we'll go there to attack them. So they're probably going to do a little bit of raiding. Um, yeah, these two will go immediately, and these two will try and take out Baluchistan. Be nothing coming down the road. Right, let's have a look at um, what we can do here to make things difficult for the Indians. What we need to do is move, uh, we're going to move to here, we're going to build a fort, 
And we're going to build... What else are we going to build? We're going to build another fort. Just... Just, uh... Here. There we go. And these guys are going to go in here. And these guys are going to go in here. Now we're going to do a bit more recruitment. It's all perfectly under control. And these guys, I think we were going to use them to attack here. We are going to attack this turn, by the way. I'm just going to have a look up here. It's a bit of a dead area. So we can force these guys out of Naroon. The, the forts are to basically force them into attacking us. Um, at their disadvantage. That's the reason for doing it. Because we are kind of a bit passive, to be honest. Unable to build a fort. Oh, this, perhaps this guy can. Why can he not build a fort? Surely we've got enough money. Perhaps it's where we are. We can't build a fort. Okay, well, fair enough. We'd have to retreat with that army. And do let's take up position in these forts. So we need a general with his slot. Uh, we need some troops, we need some infantry. We need to push some infantry up into this fort. Some really good infantry. Uh, let's put these two guys in. Rather a lot of light cav here. We'll, we'll get rid of two actually. This is a fault, so we don't really want a lot of um yeah, what else can we put in there? Some really nice heavy artillery would be nice. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's put this I honestly thought that was a thingy pounder. Twenty-four pounder. That's better. That looks better to me. That's very defensible, that um, the army. These mortars, uh, not mortars, heavy artillery. Okay, we're still continuing to move north. Got to slightly watch here in case he tries to push through. Uh, what have we got coming up? Anything more? Not really, it's not really much else. I'm going to watch that strategically. There's a bit of a gap there. What I want to do, possibly, is put an army. I'll put, really put an army here, I think. Yeah. Can we build a fort? Why can't we not build a fort? But we'll go here anyway. More recruitment. Everywhere we can, we need to recruit. pump out some infantry now. Went for the cab first, because it can obviously move up quickly. The front. Okay, these guys are ready to roll I think. Okay, well let's take out Naroon. I think it's probably gonna be an auto resolve, so you're probably gonna kill me. Declare war. Yeah, we don't care. Declare war. There's only, they've only got Persia as their allies and we're already at war with them, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, it's not really an auto resolve, is it? Continuous siege. We are belaguering, but we need to bring up the cav as well, I think. Okay, that's going to leave a little bit short, actually. Could possibly move this army down. I don't think we can get into there, can we? No. No, I think, um, maybe what we'll have to do, it's not a, let's have a look at this, 3,000, well, it's all pretty much rubbish to be honest, these guys, 500, well, I think what I'm going to do, 
I know we haven't actually fought a battle, but this will take a while to fight. We are going to fight this, but we'll fight it in the next episode, I think. It's going to take quite a while to actually manoeuvre myself around to get into a good position to kill them off. Um, got plenty of cab to take out his mortars. Plenty of good infantry, some grenadiers. So I do apologise, we haven't had a battle. We've made lots of progress, we've taken lots of um, cities by, by force. And the, the war has started again against the Mughal Empire. The peace was very short-lived. Um, once we've taken Naroon Kot, we'll be forcing their ships out of their port as well. And we'll have a naval battle probably in the next episode as well. Thanks for your time watching. I say it is, it is very much a kind of um, formality now going through the, the end game of this this, um, this series. But we should get some decent battles, I think. Uh, just unfortunate this, this particular time you haven't seen one. But we will... We will be getting some decent battles, I'm sure. There's, there's many, many troops, and we're going to have to fight some of these battles. We can't auto-resolve all of them because we'll lose too many men. Okay, look, take care of yourself. Be speaking to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.